So welcome to Viking Arms video. This is the first video we're doing. We're here in North Yorkshire and uh, we're gonna have, we're going we're going after a Roebuck. We're gonna put the Hainel Jaeger 10 uh, rifle through its paces. On top of that we've got a new aim sport scope and the Vanguard Twe uh, Quest T62 sticks. So let's go and see what we can find. Just nip up here and we'll have a look under some just pasture fields just up here. We'll nip, go up there, have a look in those, see if they're feeding out. But if not, we'll come back down here. Go through this section here. So that's really been our morning. Unfortunately, we only saw a fleeting glimpse of a Roebuck, he was a young lad, uh, down a ride and uh, uh, he stood a while but I just could only see his head through the scope so uh, yeah, it wasn't a shot I was prepared to take. Um, that was really our best chance this morning so uh, rather than actually show you the uh, kit in use <laughs> uh, I just want to go through bits of the kit that we were going to use. The rifle is the Hainel Jaeger 10 uh, on this version this is the Varmint Sporter it's got an integrated Picatinny rail on top of the receiver, adjustable cheek piece. Uh, it actually has a, a Picatinny rail on the fore ends as well. It's a medium weight barrel, it's 20 inches long. Uh, this is in, in, uh, in 308, but obviously it's got all the European calibers. Uh, the bolt is a, uh, is a three lugged bolt, it's on a 60 degree lift. The safety is a, a three-stage safety you can you can pull it back you're on safety belt won't come up you depress a little lever here safety is still on but you can still unload that's a good nice little feature um, it comes with a four round magazine but you can get a ten round magazine for it uh, the magazine release is just in front of the trigger just here on top of it we've got a, a an aim three by uh, three to twelve by fifty uh, uh, triple illumination scope. It's got green, blue, and red on it. Um, we've got Brugger and Tomet uh, QD mounts holding it down. So all in all, it's a very, very firm and substantial piece of kit. The scope actually does come with its own own uh, uh, scope rings, but they're a little bit high for me, so I've just decided just to drop them down. Uh, on the end of it, it's been screw cut, and we've got a Brugger and Tomet uh, sound suppressor. This is the new lightweight Tiger version, also in 308. But these um, uh, 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 are calibre specific, so these will this will go from 223 to 8 mil, and it'll work all the way around. So really, that's the rifle setup. Uh, we've got a Vanguard Quest T62. Uh, tripod here, versatile, nice and lightweight, just what you want. Rotating uh, yoke, and you can even take the third arm off, so you can use it as a bipod. But the best thing is, it's nice and light, it's easy deployable, and it's easy to get into position, as we did on the young buck just uh, just a few moments ago. Uh, so really, that's the kit that we were using. That's the kit that I would have liked to use, uh, but maybe next time. 